that's that's the taste. That's the taste. Um, and uh, you know, uh, one of the, the hard concepts for students to understand is, you know, um, we all know great musicians. Uh, hopefully, um, and one of the things about those great musicians is they're not thinking. Uh, they're not paying attention to the scales that they play, or even um, you know the rehearsal of the song, and and uh, you know they're just feeling it, and um, and it's basically the the same thing. You've you've got to hear it in your head, so how much of this or how, how little of that is always dependent on what you hear in your head. The, the, the idea, the sound that you hear in your head is what you're going for. Um, <clears throat> and um, it takes extensive listening to actually come up with a palette of sounds in your head. Um, you know, I, I find a lot of young mixers, um, they always want to mix. They want to spend all their time mixing. Um, they don't want to spend their time coming up with sounds. So they'll take a job from their friend's band and, and you know, try and record and mix something or just mix something. And I have to tell you, learning how to mix comes from understanding and creating a palette of sounds in the same way that <clears throat> any musician, you know, has his forte of what he does. Um, what, what, you know, what kind of thing he, he does well. Um, so I would recommend that you spend time learning how to use a compressor and, and practicing different ones and using, I, I, I remember I used to go into my practice sessions when all my colleagues, you know, my young uh, en engineers, second engineer friends were going in and recording their bands. I would go in and just play back a tape that we had in the archive of, and I would go through every instrument on that tape and send it into an LA-2A. And I would just spend my whole session sending every instrument into an LA-2A and listening to what it did in different ways with, e with equalization before, with equalization after it, and, and logging what those sounds were in my head. Um, I don't ever see anybody do that nowadays. And I know that my colleagues did it, um, the better ones, of course, because you have to. You have to have just a bank of sounds in your pocket every day. So when it, when it comes time to, to, to come up with a sound, you've, you're going through it. Oh, I now want this guitar sound edited with this compression, with this equalization. And it's all this map, you know, it's the same thing when you're, when you're doing, you know, you know, when you're searching for sounds, when you're programming, you know, and you've got a bank of sounds, you're going, you know in your head which sounds you want, right? Some of them you use all the time. Well, it's the same exact thing. So, I hear the sound in my head first. So how much of this or how little of that, it, it has to do with what the song is telling me and, and what I hear in my head. No, that's a long description. I'm really sorry. <laughs>